Whoa, I'm making a video in front of a desk. Who do I think I am? Grace Helbig? Hello! Today I decided to make a video and I'm going out of frame. I have just a number of topics that I want to talk to you guys about and catch you up on that's happening in my life. And so here we go. Here we go. I just want to connect with you guys and let you know what's happening in my life and like what I'm experiencing. This movement. First thing that's happening is it's summer and I'm totally pumped and now I'm officially a senior in high school. I'm also, you know, hanging out with my friends. I'm going to a pool party later. Like what? Who am I? Someone who goes to a pool party? Anyway, one of the things I used to do on this channel is I would do a music favorites where I would show you guys what music I'm listening to. That got really dull really quick, so I'm just gonna tell you guys about all the albums that have come out this year that I've been enjoying. I'm just gonna grade them like teacher's grade tests with like A plus through F minus. Let's go. First album that I bought this year, I believe, was Marine and the Diamonds' new album. Fruit, A minus, Passion Pits, Kindred. It's a B plus, maybe just a B. I don't know. I'm just, just, <laughs> I can't articulate. Brain of Flowers, The Desired Effect, C plus. And I hate that I have to say that, but the first four songs that he released before the album came out were amazing, especially Lonely Town, like that song is brilliant. But the rest of the album is really, boring and I don't like saying that but it's the truth and that's what I think and I just really hope that if the killers come out with a new album that they get their act together because I didn't really like Battleborn that much either and I hate saying that but nothing is like hitting the mark that their first three studio albums have hit for me. Sorry. <laughs> Surfer Blood, 1000 Palms, A+, plus. so good, I love it. I love everything that Surfer Blood does, and this album is really, really good. Go, listen to it right now. I give that song that I just made up a D. Alpine's new album, Yuck, it's the opposite of Yuck. It's amazing, A+. Plus. Um, there's some groovy tunes, and it just sounds really cool, and I love all the brass instruments in it, so. Pose. Florence and the Machines, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, I had to think about it for a sec because that's a long album title, but it's really good. I'm going to have to give it an A, and I'm so glad she finally has made another album because I missed some flow in my life. The Vaccines had a new album come out called English Graffiti, and I feel horrible because I love them, but I haven't listened to it yet, and I've heard some of the singles and they seemed alright, so I'm sure the album's solid, but I haven't listened to it yet, so sorry. Mac DeMarco, DuckTales, and Foles all have new songs out. They're so good, and I am really looking forward to their new stuff, but the album that I'm most anticipating this year is Currents by Tame Impala, and I'm in praying position because I'm thanking the Lord for Tame Impala's music and just Tame Impala in general. The first four songs that they released this year are absolutely amazing. I know this album is gonna be the best, and I know it's gonna blow everything else out of the water. I'm gonna talk about my dreams now. A few Christmases ago, my sister got me this journal. It has Ryan Gosling on it, and it's really, really cool, and I never really used it. Like, I used it as a journal when I first got it. Just recently, I've been having really, really vivid dreams, and, well, I had one really long, vivid dream that was really stressful. I was supposed to be going on a date with Gabriel Gundacker, and if you don't know who that is, he makes vines and YouTube videos, and he's really really hilarious and I'm gonna link my favorite of his videos down in the description it's called IO Harrison $70 and it I'm not even exaggerating is one of the most hilarious videos I've ever seen in my life check him out and follow him on vine Gabriel Gundacker do it now okay anyway so I had a dream where I was supposed to be going on a date with him and then all this stuff kept happening to me and I was late to it and he I stood him up on accident and I felt so bad and then I was like crying all the stuff I had to do was like really stressful and I was like trying to get to the date but my body was like not moving fast enough and it was just really horrible then I had all these other dreams after that that were super vivid like I had one the other night where I met Rhett and Link in a grocery store and like that was cool we went to the beach what then I've just had ones like first day of senior year and then I've had some really uncomfortable ones that I've had to write down but the reason I've been writing them down is because like I really want a lucid dream but I can't do that yet and I've heard that writing them down helps so probably from the internet I think Chris Kendall said something about it don't trust a guy who's inconsistent with his videos <laughs> funny because I'm inconsistent with my videos. Anyway, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> Ew. <laughs>